Welcome, and thank you for joining us at Our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. This week, we're reflecting on the reassuring truths found in the names and titles of Jesus. As we begin this reflective time, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. Ease out the tension in your body as you come simply to know and adore Jesus Christ, the Saviour who gave himself for you. He loved you when he was born as a helpless baby. He loved you as he died upon the cross. And he loved you when he walked triumphantly from the tomb. He still loves you with the same devotion and faithfulness tonight. Lord Jesus, how quickly I lose sight of all you have done for me. Inspire and humble my heart again tonight as I wonder at your love for me shown in your sacrifice. You didn't just come to earth to make yourself known, but to die in my place that I might be yours forever. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 1 verse 29 says, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Think for a moment of a lamb. Its wool is still soft and light, without any marks or scars to be seen. It is harmless and young. It is a picture of innocence. John the Baptist compared Jesus to a lamb, introducing him to the crowds as the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. We all know the weight and stain of sin. We suffer from its scars on our skin and in our hearts. But Jesus, as the pure and spotless Lamb of God, is able to bear our worst deed, even our darkest stain, in his holy body, born to die upon the cross for us. As many lambs in ancient Israel's sacrificial system, Jesus was born to die. Yet then he was risen to reign. Tonight, the lamb sits upon the throne, not your sin. Is your heart stirred when you consider Jesus as your perfect, spotless lamb, born to die in your place? Let this be a time of worshipping the lamb upon the throne who has defeated Sin. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Take a moment to do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart and let yourself be filled with the calming presence of our almighty God who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. Breathe in. and out.
and N and out. Let's pray. Lamb of God, I am humbled as I consider how lowly you made yourself for me. You gave up heaven's comfort and even your life to free me from sin. What can I do but praise you? Dear Lord, I trust your sacrifice for my sin. This is the only way I am made pure, as you are sacrificed in my place. I repent of my waywardness and take this moment to confess the sins weighing me down. Forgive and free me, I pray. Revelation chapter 5 verses 12 to 13 says Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honour and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea, and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb, be praise and honour and glory and power, forever and ever. Let's close with a final prayer. Jesus, my God and Saviour, thank you for being my sacrifice. You have done what I could never hope to do on my own. You have freed me from the dominion, power and penalty of sin. I praise you for your saving love. My life is yours, Lord. Have your way. Amen.